Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you that you have found me. I hope that it is a good time. I am Whitney and I do 20 minute makeup looks and I love bright colorful eyeshadow but I do a lot of neutral stuff too. Um, and the big thing is, is I try to get most of my looks in under 20 minutes. It's not say that I don't run over by five minutes sometimes because I do. I am an imperfect human being, but I do my best and most of them are under 20 minutes. So at least the makeup application part is AO, um, cause I talk a lot. Anywho, it is so warm out this morning. Like it's already, well, I mean, it's like 70 degrees, but it's like a thick, humid 70 degrees. Like, it's the kind of, like, not hot that just makes you feel sweaty and it's so gross. So I'm opting for sleeveless today, but it's still fall toned. I've got some, I call them my whisk earrings because they look like a whisk. Um, they are Nine West or Lauren Conrad from Kohl's. I don't remember which. They might be Nine West. They're like the only pair of gold earrings I have. Actually, I do have another one, but they have big old pearls on them. Fake pearls. And that's not really what I'm going for today. So, uh, I'm going to be using my Pat McGrath Mid Not Soon palette with Darth Vader on the front because he is an excellent villain. I love this design. <laughs> it's so fun. I'm so glad I bought this. Um, anyways, I'm going to be using this and this and this today is my plan. So let's see how that pans out. I'm going to start with my Morphe Filter Effect Concealer to prime my lids and then I take my Moda Crease Brush into this light brown and start putting that across my crease and blending it out sort of a nice rusty colored brown when it goes on. more over in here. I try to blend that up a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> Next I'm going to use that dark chocolatey brown. I'm doing two little dib dabs. Start at this outer corner. Softly blend that out. Completely darken my crease, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. lighter brown on this side. And on this side. Okay. 
Okay. Now I'm going to come with that shiny, shiny gold. Can't tell if it's focusing or not because my hand's blocking it, but. shiny shiny gold that was a other shiny shiny my brown NYX eyeliner, same one I used yesterday. I'm trying really hard to not stretch my eyelid today, but I just have such a hard time applying pencils without doing that, but I'm just going to do it. Because when you're trying to tight line and get rid of some of that negative space, it's better. Okay, other side. my Maybelline fireworks in the pink tube. This is black brown or brown black, something like that. Not black black. So this is day three of using this mascara and so far I'm digging it. Um I was able to get this at a super good price at CVS. Not that it's not a great affordable price already, uh, but I had like two or three coupons I was able to use. I think I paid like $6 for it. I got it for about half off. Um, I was pretty excited about that. Even inexpensive makeup these days is expensive in my opinion, but it really does make a nice job. And it washes off pretty easily. I did not get waterproof. I don't know if this formula comes in a waterproof. I don't remember. I know that it said it was washable. And it did not say waterproof on my packaging. So that's all I cared about. Uh, but I honestly I cannot recall if any of them were waterproof. And I just avoided them like the plague. I do not like waterproof mascara for myself. Um, a lot of times... My contact is shifting. Come on, Ollie. Uh, a lot of times I have to wash my face and wash my makeup off while my contacts are in. And I don't like waterproof mascara because it usually requires extra chemicals or extra scrubbing, neither of which I like to do while I have my contacts in. So I try to avoid it. Also, I don't typically have a problem with mascara like transferring and giving me raccoon eyes so I don't buy waterproof if I can avoid sorry my contact is really bugging me right now oh there I think I got it okay I think it might have got a little air bubble under it somehow anywho we are going to add some highlight in a little bit but I'm going to wait until everything else is done so mm, I don't think I'm going to do anything on the underside again today I didn't yesterday either but I just feel like this doesn't need it. But I am gonna 
give myself some more elaborate brows with my Maybelline Tattoo Studio pencil. I do really love the formula of this. I do think it's probably a little bit too dark for me. I'd love to get one closer to the auburn color that I had with my L'Oreal pencil, which I also loved. I didn't have any problems with it, but this is just so soft and creamy. I love it so much. But I would like a little more auburn versus brown. But it gets the job done. Oh, there's my contact again. Oh, that's why I'm gonna have to just quit looking at things today. Good enough for me. All right. I'm gonna do just a single dab of concealer on each side. Using our Moda Glow brush that we used earlier to do our lids. And just clean it up and brighten that area a little bit. Okay. Default was the cheeks. I'm going to use my Morphe Hot Shot Blush Drops. Like it's so easy to go from not enough to too much with this. I do really like it though. I like the formula. It's really blendable. I'm going to use this contour brush. I like the color. That was just like not quite enough, but it's so easy to do like too much. Then I gotta get it right because I can't fix it after I put my powder on. You can't put look, a cream on top of the powder. It just isn't gonna work very well. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna come in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. set that concealer without killing the blush too much. And now the question becomes, do I wear red lipstick or not? Obviously the answer is yes. I feel like it. <laughs> oh, which one of the eight million should I choose? Okay, so we have ooh, this Morphe one and this Juvia's one. I'm gonna go towards this one or this Juvia's one. I'm going to do this one. I'm really feeling it. Let me put these other two away. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I love the packaging of these Juvia's lipstick. It's pretty and it's like velvety. It's amazing. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit of lip conditioner. Okay. 
So this is from their Minnie Mouse collection. And the color is, oh boy. All right, I am happy with that choice. And that, oh, I was gonna do a highlight, let's see. I'm just gonna use this Love in London palette. And I got a little pencil brush here that I think I used yesterday. And I'm just gonna take the first color here. than I expected it to. Okay, I am done. Ooh, 16 minutes. Love it. All right, so here is, turned out to be a fairly unconvoluted look. I don't know, love that lip highlight though. I think it looks weird, but it's gonna wear off when I eat in a minute anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So there's that. I still got a little bit of bounce left in my hair from fixing it yesterday. Let's turn the light off. Here we are. Highlight's not so obvious with the light off. Of course, I'll have fluorescence when I get to my desk. And once more with the lights. Ooh, and there we are. All right, so that is the finished look for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to like if you did and subscribe if you'd like to see more, because there will be more. Um, Actually, while I have a minute, if you've been watching for a while, you know that I post a lot because I'm on camera a lot for my job, but it looks like over the next couple of months, I might be on camera a little bit less. So I may slow down a little bit over the holidays, but I will still try to be consistent. Um, I still like putting on makeup whether I am on camera or not. So hopefully I may not post every day like I have been, but a few times a week still moving forward. So we'll see what happens. Things may not change, but they might. So I don't know. Either way, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed and have a great day. Bye-bye.